Welcome back guys to another Boom Beach video and in today's video we have two chests to collect and in terms of the tech tree what we're gonna do is unlock the building damage that's gonna be pretty good so let's max it out and now that we have a hundred percent building damage what we should do instead of going straight to the blaster over here is the bla once we unlock this it's just gonna give us one more uh, building there you know the blaster we should go back and get the rockets there you know, we'll, we'll be able to grab a couple of uh, rockets there with the almost 4 million upgrade tokens right now. So that'll really help. Added with the 100% defensive building damage, that should do pretty well. Uh, plus, I've redesigned the base a tiny bit. I've just moved this engine room over here so that's kind of like uh, this this way. Uh, small area over there, small area over there, and sort of two at the top there. So it really only works with rockets, to be honest, because you need like a rocket over here and a rocket over here to hit them as they come along. So that's why we do need to go there. But we're on the right track anyway. Let's go ahead. We've got the 100% building damage. And now we just need to do collect these two chests and we'll be able to grab some juicy rockets. So here we are. This guy does have the max rockets, but luckily this base doesn't look too well designed. Um, let's see. We could do critters up there if we, if we have enough GB to shock those defenses. But let's just drop them all down. Uh, there's no need to delay drop here, it seems. Drop them all down. Let's just, and let's just build up our GBE to try and clear out that engine up there, protected by the two uh, flamethrowers there. So that's going to be the plan. If you can take that one out, that'll save us at least like 10 seconds or so. So let's see. These max rockets. Let's see his boost. His boost is not showing up right now because we're already in the middle of a battle. But I presume he does have the 100% defensive building damage. Okay. That's looking good. And I think the rockets should be distracted here. We're pretty much distracting all the rockets. Let's just start doing shocks there. Shocks. And as much critters as possible over there. How many critters is that? Uh, three critters. Let's see if they can take out those defenses there. Let's get ready for another shock over here. And just about. Okay, so those critters will work up there. That's great. Fantastic to hear there. And let's see, how are these guys going to spread out? We Nope, we really need some of these guys uh, to come down here. Okay, perfect. Now some of them are going down there. And I think we're going to get a pretty decent time on this base, actually. So they're taking that one out. So we can't do anything down here because he has a flame tour beside that engine. But let's flare on it right now. Lovely stuff there. Let's do a shock there. Didn't lose any troops at all there to that cannon. 2 minutes, 30, 28, 7, and that's a, that's a really good time there, for, for me anyway. But let's see how it compares against this player. And 2 minutes, 19, uh, 2 minutes, 13, 12, L lovely stuff there, lovely stuff. Okay, so that's a, that's a nice base there that we got. And we'll just collect this chest, we'll get 60, uh, 30 keys on each chest, so that'll be plenty enough to get grab this one. Um, and then obviously the last couple unlocks are going to be trying to get the shock blaster, the artillery, you know, the, we're not going to be able to artillery out any defense or anything, just mine clearance, I guess. And then over here to the shock launcher, or I could go back perhaps some of these extra buildings over here at some point, but you know, we'll see. So there it is. He is finished. Let's grab this one. We need 40 keys. Let's grab it. Head straight into another attack. We do need to do two of these attacks, I believe. We're only going to get six end rooms. We're going to be one end room short of collecting the next uh, gold chest, unfortunately. So let's see. Fingers crossed here we get a relatively easy enough base here. Okay, so he's in the last end room. Let's just drop them all down. Lovely stuff there. And we'll just flare onto this one right there. So that they can begin targeting straight away. He does have a mine right there. The boom mine right there behind that trophy there. And I didn't want Kavan to go down it, so that's pretty good. We just took it out with some quitters. And let's just... What do, what does he have? We can shock the Simo and the Doom Cannon straight away. And even a couple of the... And um, one shock launcher as well. So that's pretty nice. So let's go ahead right there. See if we can grab that shock. Lovely stuff there. Nice placement. Okay, and now we're just going to power through the base. Let's get ready for another shock right there. I'm zooming in so I can... Uh, drop it, drop it down position, and yeah, he's got another Simo up there. Okay, but let's just keep doing some second wins here. 
Uh, drop down some critters over there, see if they can help us out with some damage up there. And this is looking lovely, lovely, lovely. Taking that one out, that's gone. Throw down some more critters over there. And we could start flaring, but I think let's just let them uh, clear clear all the defenses. They're sort of spreading out nicely anyway. And if we can get one more... Uh, no, we can't. One more critters, but that's not going to happen. That one's already down half health. The bottom one is pretty much going down at the same time. Lovely stuff there. 2 minutes 35, okay. And what's he going to do? He's flaring. Is he using... What is that? That's a, that's a heavy army. I thought that was a, a, what's a seeker army or something for a second there. But luckily enough, he's flaring and he's got, he's still got one more over here. He's, okay, he's doing artillery. Okay. He's going to need a ton of GB right there. So two minutes, 13, 12. I believe we've already won anyway. Well, let's take a look how many, I believe he might have to flare at the end because he's, is he going to be able to build up enough GB for one more? No, he still needs one more guys. He still needs one more. He's letting his troops fan out there to collect the GB. Is that going to be enough? Is he going to flare? Does he have enough? Yes, he does. There is 1 minute 53 seconds. Wow. Okay, well, whichever way the opponents want to play, that's their choice there. Well, unfortunately, we're just one, one engine room short there. So let's hop into it. And then we'll grab those juicy uh, rockets there. So this guy has the sky shield over there. He's He does have the shock launchers, okay? So let's just drop them down there. Off oh, four bombers and we'll just target the mortar straight away. Drop down Kavan with them. Okay, the mortar takes down half the health of these troops. Good to know there. Okay, after we take down this end room and cannon, we're going to flare at the top there. That left hand side. Let's take that one out. And lovely stuff, okay. So I believe that flare will, will run out before they get there. So they should kind of split. If they can. And drop these guys out now. And that should be perfect timing there. And yeah, there it is. Okay, so these guys are going to go up this way. And we should have a nice split attack here. So let's take out these cluster of mine there. These guys will come down. And hopefully they're not going to be drawn down here. Some of them will go up there, I hope. There's a ton of stuff over there, but let's start playing those stuff out. Okay. Okay, come on guys, I really need someone to go at the top. Oh no, what's happening? Let's do a shock. The cannon right there. Someone go at the top, please. Nope, oh my god. Wow, we've got one, one bomber going up there. These guys, oh, this is why the split is so important here. Okay, let's just keep going. Do the best that we can here. Let's reflare over here. We're gonna have to do uh, okay that that bomber. No point in saving that bomber here. We have to save it for a shock in just a second unfortunately and that will take cost us like 20 seconds at least here come on it's still up so hopefully we can design our base to do something like this to the opponents opponents troops instead so there they are they're going we can't flare the last engine at all because it is protected unfortunately let's try on some critters over there see if we can distract that uh launcher and the blaster we can't, we just can't, I don't see a way for us to target that. Yeah, I think it's fully covered. So let's just throw down some critters instead. Uh, he's on them both. He's on both of the endrooms there, the last endrooms. Two, one minute 20 seconds, please. 20, 21 seconds, okay. So if you win this, it'll be true, true pure luck there. One minute 20, one minute 57. Lovely stuff there. What's he doing? He's reflaring. Or, okay, he's reflaring. He's thrown down artillery up there. Okay, so that's why he reflared early on. And we only got our Doom Cannon up there. Doom Cannon's going to pick them off one by one there. That Shock Mine is perfect placement. And there goes one. One bomber. Another bomber there. Please, another bomber. And the last second win bomber. And that's a lot of bombers it just took out. So you really can't. You need to do something about that. 
he needs to do something about the Doom Cannon straight away here. He's only got two bombers left. Okay, so that's that's a nice defense. At least we know our base is kind of working there, even if our attacks are a little bit terrible sometimes. But we'll wait until he finishes. Yeah, so we're right there at the end. We've got one day and 14 hours left. Oh, we got a rank chest as well, so that's actually going to help quite a bit. Finally, we got into rank 17. Let's see if we can finish in rank 18 or 19 this season. We should, I mean, this mini season. So let's grab this one. And we'll also go over here as well. Let's start progressing our way up there. That's going to help quite a bit, that rank chest. And let's grab these guys. Can we, how much, we can max it out. Wow. That's the one of the first times that I've been able to max it out straight away there. And where do we want to put the rockets? We want to put them over here. For sure, I'm going to replace this one over here. Uh, perhaps just one tall forward there. Okay. I'm going to put one over here. Put it right over there. I think that's a decent spot. And one over... Okay, we'll just put one over there, and we'll just put a couple over here. Right right there, I think, so that it's not uh, within range. It's not covering the... It's not in the dead spot of the end rooms there. Or the end rooms are not in the dead spot of the rocket there. So that's pretty good. Okay, I like that. Let's see, we'll just do two attacks here. We're on a small 3x win streak, so that's pretty good. And rank 17. Hopefully we don't fall out of rank 17 straight away, that is. Okay, let's see. So he's got... Let's just drop them down here. One, two, three, four. Flare out onto that one. And just like before, I think we're going to let these guys take out this first end room. And then we'll flare to the top. Okay, we didn't lose any, any bombers. That's good. Let's let them take it out. Let's flare onto this one for a second, because it is going to target us from the side. Take that one out, and let's flare over here. We've got to get moving, we've got to get moving. So let's try and drop these guys a little bit earlier, just a few seconds. Or no, we they actually might... Let's drop them now. Okay, let's see. I hope... It looks like these guys might be drawn down here. I'm not sure, but I'm just fingers crossed here right now, to be honest. Uh, okay, that's taken out down. Nope. Okay, some of them are, There's only like two bombers going up there. Can we do a shock or something? If we do a shock there, that'll keep them in place. And that'll give these guys some time to, I think, uh, take the, take out these buildings over here. Let's do another shock just in case. We really need them to go up to the top there. Let's, okay. Now let's watch them as they go. Where, where are they going to go? That's good. Let's... Take out this boom mine there. Boom mine is taken out. That's nice. Kavan is going up there. Well, not too far up there, but let's get ready for a shock here. Well, we don't need to. There's plenty of coverage there, actually. So that's good. Okay. So that kind of worked out a little bit nice. We got a nice uh, split. Bombers on both sides. We're getting ready to flare. Well, we don't need to anymore. Okay, this one's going down. We're getting ready to flare, hopefully. Come on. That one's taken out. Let's flare. And right there, we're on it. Critter's there. And we're about 1 minute 53. Okay, a little bit slower, but... Yeah, just fingers crossed, always, as always. Let's take a look. 1 minute 57 or 50... Okay, he's 1 minute 48, so we definitely did not get that time. So, uh, let's watch the rocket over here. Is he going to shock it? No, he's going to use med, uh, med kits there. Rocket, come on. That's half health. Come on, and a couple of more salvos there. And half those bombers will be gone. The shock mine, lovely stuff there. Okay, the shock mine, nice. So let's zoom out there. Those guys up there, just a, just a heavy army, just taking out that end room. But these guys down here, nice. I think those, those rockets definitely came in. Crouch there, and look at the time he's getting. 1 minute 14 seconds. That's the slowest time. I've had on my base so far. Let's take a look at the replay and see how the rockets uh, came into play. 4x speed. So he's using three bombers. I use uh, not three bombers. Sorry, three heavy choppers. Um, I went aggressive and only used uh, two heavy choppers just to have more bombers. But you can see over there he's having to shock that straight away. Okay. Okay. This rocket there, nice. 
He's having to reflare. Doing a couple of reflares there. That's not too bad. And then he went all the way down over here there. And then he had to come all the way back up. So that definitely took up all of his time there. So that's nice to see. And let's take a look. Let's move this one up a tiny bit. Just so that it has coverage as they go along over here, guys. So that's good. And let's... I'll just move this one up a couple of centimeters there. Or up, up a couple of tiles, I should say. And we're on a nice 4x uh, win streak. Okay, so this is pretty good. And we have this small window of opportunity where we're going up against players who maybe don't have the same tech tree as us. But I like this base for sure. Okay, let's just do one. And drop four down. We'll see which way they go and then we'll do they drop the... Uh, uh, the rest of the boats in the direction that these guys don't go. So if these guys go this way, I think I might flare them onto that mortar on the left hand side. Or should we do them on the right hand? Let's let's show them over here actually. Because I I think if I drop players over if I drop the boats over here, they won't go over there at all. They'll be drawn to the Okay, let's take out this one over here. Let's do a shock over here. And then they'll just naturally, naturally go down there. Okay, so that so okay. So now, now we have all of our troops where we want them, and we just gotta back them up now. A lot of mines down here, but let's see what happens. He's got some. We we can use our GB up there. That's pretty nice. So what we're gonna do is we have thirty nine. So we'll we'll wait and build up some more GB for now. Forty eight GB. That's good. And let's just drop all of our GB. Let's do a shock right there. And then a ton of GB uh, critters there. And one more. That's all the GB that we have. Let's protect these guys. We want three bombers down here. Wow. Let's do some shocks. And 17 GB, 16 GB. Do a shock right there. How are those guys doing? Those guys are fine. And let's do a second wind here. I think it's only going to bring back heavies there. Yeah. We're not going to be able to bring back any second wind uh, bombers, unfortunately. So th that's finished up there. Let's just do another second wind. Let's start flaring right now. That's taken out. Let's flare down here. And I suppose that's critters or something there. 2 minutes 29. Is this going to be good enough? He's on the last one as well. Fingers crossed. 2 minutes 58. Okay. 2 minutes 58 is the time to beat. He's getting 2 minutes, 2, 1 seconds. Lovely stuff there, lovely stuff there. Look, his heavy army, he doesn't have a flare. Where is he going to flare next? And I think he's waiting to build up in GB. And there, he's showing down the critters instead. Why is he not flaring? I'm not sure why he's not flaring, but lovely stuff there, guys. So definitely that was the right choice there, grabbing those rockets there. More buildings on the base, protecting against the bombardiers. And last up, you know, we're just going to keep going over here. Blaster's going to be lovely stuff there. Um, artillery and then hopefully shock launch will be a little bit of a game changer there as well. Slowing down opponents even more. I do want to put the blaster perhaps somewhere over here or something. Or perhaps over there protecting those two engine rooms. But we'll see. Um, we'll see uh, uh, tomorrow. But that's it from me today, guys. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. We're on a 5x win streak. Um, so I'll see you guys next time.